uh, if you uh, follow our Facebook page that overnight last night we achieved the affiliate ranking on Twitch which uh, means we've now got a couple of extra little things that you can access and uh, should you like to subscribe to our channel which would be very much appreciated uh, and I understand you can do for free if you have an Amazon Prime account uh, that you can subscribe to us and give us bits which uh, just seems crazy but you can make us like wave and all that kind of stuff I think there's various functions and uh, I understand that we may even make a few pennies out of uh, out of it if you do and obviously if we do make any money out of it then we'll put all that money back into getting some better cameras and some other bits and pieces to try and make your viewing experience significantly better because uh, we want to bring you good content so we thought we'd uh, we think or we think we've got some pretty good equipment to start off with but I'm sure we could probably uh, upgrade in the future. Mm, we've got good equipment, it's just the, the users that are. Yeah, yeah, user error, user <laughs> error. Uh, Tomo1171 says, is there a paint list for the uh, mini that you paint in water? Oh yeah, so uh, I will just finish painting this coat of red and then I will go through the paints that I've got here on the table and uh, I'll give you a quick rundown on what we've got. Did you uh, ask Reaper about the black indigo? I did. They said that they will get back to me. But then they're in different time zone, etc., etc., aren't they? So yeah. And they're very busy. Yeah. I spoke to uh, spoke to my contact in the UK today, but I completely forgot to ask him. So this is the black indigo from last night, isn't it, for those that weren't watching? Ah, yeah, so we're using a paint, which is, is actually this paint that I'm pointing out with my paintbrush on the palette there, and that is black indigo, because I was intending on using it again for the guy's trousers today, because I think it's a fantastic colour. So um, we're going we're gonna to use a bit of that, but it appears to be a colour that isn't currently in production by Reaper so we're going to see if there is another equivalent because I think it was a Kickstarter exclusive paint but we could be wrong and we'd like to be because I think it's a really good colour and I'd like everybody else to get hold of it so. uh, and I didn't realise that it wasn't available until I'd started talking about it so at this so so here we go uh, we've got just move that out of the way so this is 77149 uh, I can't reach him because he's over there but uh, so he is a Reaper Dragonborn not Dragonborn what am I talking about Hellborn, Hellborn which is Reaper for tiefling if you're a DD and aficionado excuse me so he's a, a tiefling or hellborn wizard or sorcerer figure and uh, he's a really nice mini and the paints that we're going to use for this chap are where are we so the base coat for the skin was dragon red you can see that which is a nice deep dark red and then the paint that I've just used to slightly highlight that is gory red and then in a minute we are going to go and move on to the next stage which is some Vallejo flat red which is this kind of uh, pillar box red that I've got here you can't actually see because so it's this pillar box red here that I've got on the palette so we're going to paint that and then we've got some in fact I might as well move it up here uh, we've got some really dark brown which is some German uh, camo black brown from Vallejo 
and we're going to use that for his shoes and give him some nice dark colored shoes so his shoes and his belt are going to be that color and then i've got here we've got some uh, army painter oak brown which i'm going to use to paint the wood of his staff excuse me uh, we've got the black indigo which i'm going to use to paint his trousers and uh, just some regular black if we need any black and then we're going to paint his cloak his uh, his coat here we're going to do that with these purples and then i haven't quite decided yet whether i'm going to paint his uh, the fur here on the front of his coat whether i'm going to paint that with this ice blue color which is reaper 29844 blue flame but i might change my mind on that depending on how it looks once we've painted it with the purple so uh oh and then his, his hair because he has actually got some uh, hair we're going to paint with black and uh, make that quite glossy so he looks uh, very dashing and suave or greasy and evil depending on how you uh, how you might like think about it so let's crack on with his trousers oh yeah and then uh, let's see how far we can get. So, black indigo, a beautiful colour, not currently available. <laughs> if you've got some, or you've got another really nice deep indigo kind of colour, then uh, that would be what I would use. If you were using Citadel paints, because a lot of people like to use Citadel paints, I guess um, something like maybe incubi darkness might be uh, a suitable paint to get this kind of color Although i've not really used that enough to say it with any certainty so this video is from our subscription box isn't it? He, he is, he is. So uh, if you don't know about our sub box, so every month we do a Reaper subscription box, you can sign up to it for, uh, if you're in the UK you can. Currently we've had to disable the international edition because of the shipping costs and uh, customs charges, but if you were already on it, on the international subscription, then we're, uh, we're currently sending those out. So. Uh, for £20 every month, we send you a box full of figures that's worth at least £25 at our prices. And you get a selection of Reaper Bones figures that I have selected from my master list of figures. And uh, basically that's a list of all the Bones figures currently in production. And uh, it's a big spreadsheet and every month I pick the figures for the next couple of months worth of uh, boxes and we get them try and get them ordered up well in advance so we've currently got uh, this month's and next month's figures in stock and we'll shortly be ordering the figures for the next couple of months after that so uh, but we like it to be a surprise for anybody that might try and do their homework so if you go on our website and start looking for what we've got lots and lots of uh, that isn't always an indication of what you might be getting in your sub box because we don't actually put the stock live when we've got it for the sub boxes. That just occurred to me. I know there's people that uh, like doing their homework online, but that won't work in this instance because we like to keep it secret. Uh, so, £20 and you get some uh, amazing figures. So, this month just gone, uh, there was this chap, the uh, rogue or assassin that we painted last week a hell giant huntsman with a hellhound hell giant fire giant huntsman with a hellhound <laughs> hell giant hell giant <laughs> I probably had like that tiny little dragon at the top yeah uh, right so we've done the uh, thing we're going to paint his hair next so we're going to get some black and we're going to paint his uh, base colour his hair in so uh, the giant and we also put in the uh, reaper great worm which is one of the first 
figures in the skew order. Uh, 77006, which uh, I think just about everybody will probably recognize that many if they see it. Uh, so what else did we put in? We put that guy, we put Dub Bullock, who's the uh, human rogue that's kind of beckoning you, uh, beckoning you in. And we also put an orc figure in there, which uh, is a really nice mini. But I'm kind of glad that everybody picked, we did a poll so everybody could pick which figure they thought that we should paint if you weren't aware, and uh, this chap won. We ran the poll on Facebook and Twitter, and on both channels, this guy got the most votes. So, quite pleased by that, because I like it a lot. I, uh, in the last D&D &D adventure that we uh, really played a great deal of, we played Out of the Abyss, and uh, I played a Hellborn, a Tiefling, Sorceress, which was a lot of fun. Although at the time, it's quite a while ago, I say, say like recently, but it was quite some time ago and there weren't really a lot of uh, Tiefling miniatures around at the time. And uh, Reaper make a couple, but they weren't what I was really looking for. So I ended up painting up a female dark elf figure and uh, converting it ever so slightly to use as my tiefling sorceress or warlock. I think she was a warlock actually, and uh, it was a lot of fun. She playing an evil character. I like playing evil characters sometimes it's good when you can uh, mess with the rest of the party so we were uh, delving through the underdark and uh, dealing with a whole load of various demons and what have you so she was a bit of an anti-hero was uh, was a lot of fun player neutral evil character who was just out for herself it was, uh, it was great nobody asked me that just started rambling didn't i that's no good <laughs> so i think he's looking pretty cool already so he's got his uh, we've got his trousers on so we're gonna think about highlighting those trousers up once we've painted the coat cloak in so i've got two purples here i don't know if i talked about the purples we've got two purples we've got twilight purple and gem purple now these paints with the yellow labels which i don't think i've got very many of here but these paints with the yellow labels are the old hd paints that reaper used to do and they've discontinued those now but that doesn't mean you can't get these paints anymore because they've just rolled those into the, the bones range of paints and these paints do exist but they've just got new codes so uh, you can still use these paints just the codes have changed slightly and I think somewhere along the line we'll probably have to put up a conversion chart on a page on our website uh, where we show old codes to new codes so you can find the paint that you're looking for and uh, certainly we can make it so that if you search for that paint the 29819 twilight purple that the result it will give you will be the new version of that paint so uh, there's uh, there's a few bits and pieces that we can do there that might help you out if you were searching for reaper paints right and let's see if i can uh, paint his cloak without painting his tail as well So Mrs. MLG is doing an amazing job here. She's doing the chat at the side of me and also painting a mini. She's uh, multi-talented. She's got a painter a mini for the day. Mrs. MLG is painting a uh, mushroom man from Reaper and my Conid, which uh, 
looks awesome. couple of things we're going to do. So one, uh, something that's in the pipeline after we finish streaming tonight, uh, I'm going to get some skeletons stuck together because uh, we're going to try out the new TT Combat Spray Undercoats. So I'm going to give that a bit of a whirl on these uh, skeletons I'm going to build this evening. So I might be painting some skeletons on Wednesday or uh, the other thing that I might do, because I'm on a bit of a TT combat theme at the moment, with uh, what's going through my mind, is I've got some TT combat scenery for Frostgrave. Well, it's, it's not specifically Frostgrave scenery, but it's uh, from their Savage Domains range, and it's going to be perfect for Frostgrave. So we might uh, build a bit of that on stream, uh, so you can see what that's like. What... What, I guess, what would people prefer to see us do? Do you want to see us painting a few skeletons? Or do you want to see us building a bit of terrain for something a little bit different? What, uh, what do you think? Wicked D likes your purple. Which one did you go with? So this is Twilight Purple. And then we're going to use the Gem Purple to highlight it slightly. Although I might just have to give it a little uh, wash first, just to get a bit more darkness into the crevices and around the buttons and what have you. I'm going to paint the buttons with some brass. I don't think I mentioned that one. We've got some Vallejo brass. Mm, my yeah, Mrs. MLG's favourite colour for gold. Actually, even though it's a brass, it makes a really <laughs> nice gold colour. So. Uh, I'm going to paint the buttons with that on the back of his coat. Has, uh, has your little miss started painting yet, Wicked D? Yeah, we. Oh, look, I blobbed on his trousers. I knew I'd do. Obsidian <laughs> seventy nine is working on seven more living. Stormcasts. Oh, they're really cool. They're oh, nice. Our, our yeah. Discard, I do believe. Um, I really like it when they when they paint the uh, people paint the stormcasters statues. I think they look really cool. Mm -hmm. They do a really good job. Isn't it? What uh, what colour scheme have we gone for with those? Oh, I'll well, uh, I'll let them tell you. <laughs> yeah. Saw one of our uh, one of our customers the other day, who's a, a very talented young man, has uh, has painted some Sisters of Battle from Warhammer Forty Thousand as stone looking armor, and they look great. He's uh, he's been posting them on our Facebook page as he's been finishing them up. They look really cool. So they are. Brownie grey green scheme. Oh, nice. That was just to see if I could get my tongue around all those words. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'll we'll have, we'll have to check that out. We'll have to, well, I've, I've logged into Discord now. I've joined the uh, joined the latest. Yeah, the latest technology advancement. We are uh, trying to keep up that one. <laughs> yeah, and, and logged into Discord myself. So, uh, Hopefully, I should be able to check that out. If Mrs. MLG shows me <laughs> what to do and where to find it. Right, I'm just going to touch up that bit of trousers. 
there. And now, completely missed all the cuff on that side of the thing. Mr. Burks did his, uh, he says shameful pink, but they weren't at all. Uh, mm. <laughs> Eternals with the army painter, coloured metallics. Oh, cool. You remember, you did a review on those, didn't you? We did, we did, with the little video. I really liked them. I thought some of them were really cool colours. I'm not sure, uh, I would, oh, well, I'm going to use them all. We've got them in the, in the paint cupboard. But, uh, yeah, I think they were really, uh, really cool effects. Get a bit more use out of those. We did a uh, YouTube on them, didn't we? We did do a YouTube video on them. That's uh, maybe if you uh, can you post links into the chat, you can post a link to it. Oh, that... uh, yeah, I'm not posting any links at all, am I, everybody? No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you been doing that all along? Yes, darling. It's right because you are concentrating. So I'm just being mean. Yeah. <laughs> I should tell everybody you can't actually see the chat, can you? So, uh, no. So it's just me being very naughty there. And now saying that, I can't actually find the video. <laughs> <laughs> it's that karma. Yeah, I think so. Right then, so that purple is really bright. And I want that to be a lot darker. So I need some shade. I've got normal Agrax and I've got Lycan like Fresh Shade. Yeah, I think I want my purple. Oh, I know. that's no good, I know. Excuse me, just one minute while I go and get it out the drawer. <laughs> to convert you to that pink metallic. Oh, right. I thought that Little Miss would have used it when she tainted the rocky with the metallic, but she went for the purple instead. I thought she would have just done the whole thing pink. Yeah. Right then, so what's, uh, what I've got here is some old Citadel Leviathan purple. Now this is an old Citadel wash, but it's essentially um, Drucci Violet, I believe it is in the uh, in the new range, but this is, I think I think it is, uh, some that I've had for quite some time. So I'm just going to give it a little shade with this. So I'm not just going to blather it all over. I'm just going to do it in the areas that I want to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to paint it to the recesses on this sleeve and uh, under there. And uh, just around the edge of that bit on his back there. And the buttons. That's looking really nice. Though. Thank you. So, just up there, and that bit on his sleeve, where all the creases are, and uh, around the end where the joint is. And just around the edge of that fur trim on there. So that's that. And on that side. I like um, I like that pot of ink wash you've got. Is it right on the big cross or something? Yeah, that's yeah. I was waiting for you to tell me about that. Where's your? Is that? So, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to paint his shoes while this ink dries a little bit. 
and then hopefully the ink should be dry enough for us to come back and we'll paint this uh, area here the fur bit on the front of his coat so we're going to use this uh, camo brown just to paint his shoes and his belt so oops, possibly a bit too much paint on there Yeah, far too much paint on there. Spread that out onto his other shoe as well. Some of it onto his base. We're going to be painting his base anyway. There we go. Right. There we are. Shoes. And then we'll just get a little bit more and we're going to paint his belt and these pouches here. Did, uh, has anybody suggested what they might like to see us do on Wednesday? Uh, no. No? Well, okay. Well, that's all right. My, uh, my decision then. <laughs> yeah. Well, you said that you might do the... Was it the skeletons? Yeah, skeletons. So the skeletons that we're going to do are from War Games Atlantic. And uh, I've never built any of those before, so they look pretty cool. And they come with a whole variety of weapon options, and they have some awesome looking uh, Greek style helmets and uh, shields and what have you. They look pretty cool. So, I'm just going to use a bit of this real dark brown as a base coat on this staff. And then, uh, there we go. I don't know what color to paint that rock in the end. It's a bit like Gandalf's staff out of Lord of the Rings. It's like wood twisted around something, whether to paint it like a glossy black, or whether that might be a bit much with his hair being like glossy black, or whether to do it as a almost like a diamond or a bright yellow or something. I don't know. That's something we could do with some viewer input on I guess I didn't really think that far ahead yeah the tip of his staff there's like a, a rock I don't know if you can see it here and there's like a, a rock piece that's embedded in the end of the staff it's just deciding what to how to paint that what do you reckon with the color palette that we've gone for I'm not quite sure what to do do you want it to glow, or do you want it to be more? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. See what see what people suggest. You see, Mr. Fett says, "What about a mint green glow effect?" I thought like a, maybe a glow effect. It might be it might be a bit challenging for you. Yeah, it might might be a bit challenging for me. I've not I'm not is that advanced a painter. Is it ten minutes left? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that might have to wait till next week. Uh, and Gumba says uh, you should paint Maldrakar uh, on my two. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just the whole thing, obviously. Yeah, yeah, well we could, you know, if that's what you want to see, we could get Mal out the uh, <laughs> out the out the box in his office. How long how long has he been in there? Uh, ooh, three years. <laughs> right then, so if we've only got ten minutes left, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get Well technically you haven't been on that long, have you? Yeah, right. time. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get his skin finished. So uh, we're going to use some of this Vallejo flat red and just paint a couple of 
fine highlights hopefully onto his skin I don't know, maybe, maybe Mal needs to be a uh, like paint marathon type thing or something. If we ever do a charity uh, paint a thon, maybe we paint Mal there. I don't know. Did you ever decide what you actually were going to paint him then? Yeah, I'm, well, I think the only logical uh, colour choice is to paint him like Tiamat, really. As, uh, or Tia Not as Reefer kept referring it to, and the people in the comments kept referring it to as uh, the Kickstarter went on. As soon as they'd revealed it, or hinted at it, and people were asking for Tia Not, because <laughs> they can't say it's Tia Not, obviously. It's, uh, Who wants the next Reefer Kickstarter thing? It should be, starting to fulfil in the not too distant future, I think. So, quite excited to get my pirate ship. Are you, gonna paint, are you gonna paint one then? Is that your plan? Yeah, I think we, we need, need to, don't we? I think it'll have to be a joint project between the two of us. I've blobbed on his hair again. I'm not a very steady hand, you may have noticed. And uh, I've blobbed <laughs> again. But these blobs are surely easily fixed. They are surely easily fixed. Unfortunately, the only places that I've blobbed on so far while uh, painting this guy are places where I've only done the base coat. So that's even easier to fix. It means I don't have to go back and try and repair highlights and stuff. So. Oh, I hate painting hands. So, so you hate painting hands and you hate painting eyes. Yep. So what you really need is a creature with no eyes and no hands. Yeah, or big, or like just big extremities. That's the uh, <laughs> thing. It's, it's quite tough because sometimes, like when you've been really looking forward to painting a figure, you uh, and then you can get to a point where you just think, oh, I wish I hadn't started. Like uh, like I did with that troll. I've been really looking forward to painting that rock troll. Yes. And then when I started onto it, I thought like, oh, this is this is going really well. And then I just wasn't really happy with the way it was uh, turning out. Wiki D has redeemed a stretch. You have to stretch now, boy. Paint. 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 I don't think it's that bad. Can you, you, work, you guys won't be able to see that up there anyway, will you? Uh, well, you know. Uh, well, I'm, we, I'm going to redeem myself a uh, <laughs> drink. After that. It's a good job that we don't take ourselves very seriously, isn't it, sweetie? Yeah. Right then. <laughs> paintbrush has gone funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think, I'm, think, I've, think I've got a bit of fluff stuck on the end of it. Also. Excuse um, me a moment, dear viewers. Why you eat your paintbrush? Yeah, well, I eat my paintbrush and try uh, and sort out the end. Today? Uh, really good. I really like the taste of Reaper paint. It's, uh, I don't, shouldn't recommend swallowing paint, but I do like to lick the end of my paintbrush to get the point. <laughs> Uh, just correct and uh, I've been licking paintbrushes for 30 years and it hasn't done me any harm yet <laughs> <sighs> uh, now you've got to um... <coughs> <laughs> you've got to check your posture and have lots of drinks <laughs> Four, four, five, five drinks, my darling. Five drinks. You're gonna be drunk by the end of the night. You should definitely have some water. We might have to uh, share it out. The drinking. <laughs> oh, 
How many is that? That's that's two. Two? Yeah. See, I've had one for you. Like, yeah. See, see Thank how you. nice I am. Thank you very much. Does it taste nice? It does, yeah. Ah, delicious. Thank you very much. Right then, let's see if we can just finish his, his chest off. Just keep seeing like little bits on there. I think it's, I think it's this red. I, I think it's this red. I think it's slightly lumpy on there. Yeah, because it looks fine there. There we go. Now we're on. Sorry about that, everybody. Got to have more green now. I didn't realise that this guy was so ripped. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to be after you drink all your beer. Yeah, it's, he, I go running up and down the stairs at the shop all the time, don't I? So it's, it's like uh, a good exercise regime. If I need to go and get something from the top floor, just run up the stairs. It's fine. Uh, thank you. Chug, chug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I think his skin looks pretty good. Uh, I might, I might make a rare attempt to paint his eyes. I think he needs nice demonic yellow eyes. So, uh, but I am going to need to get a smaller paintbrush. So this is a zero. Uh, oh, I think. So I'm going to get my... Uh, I'm gonna get my stash paintbrush out of here for uh, painting eyes. What's that? So, my brother bought me as a Christmas gift a, a year or two ago these wonderful Rosemary and Co brushes, and I use them once a month <laughs> because they're so nice. I don't want to wreck them, uh, and I only use them for really fine detail stuff. So, here we go. See if I can do it without painting all his face. Because I don't have steady hands. Super concentration. Can you can you see? Can you see what I've done? He's he's got like white all over his nose. Like he's got some kind of adamant makeup on. I don't know, really. Can I, can I, I'm just going to have to repaint that side of his face out. Yeah, just take it off some It won't come off. <laughs> no, it's gone on there. So the white that I'm using is an incredibly excellent colour. Uh, it is Green Stuff World Nuclear White, and I love it because it's so... Uh, it's so spludgy. Yeah, yeah, I love it because it's so spodgy. No, I love it because it's a really nice, bright white, heavily pigmented, uh, goes on really well. Uh, and as you can see here, completely impervious to water. So uh, now we're going to have to try and sort his face out. Uh, uh, but at least I've... Oh no, there we go. That side of his... Yeah, that's... people like to paint the eyes first. 
Yeah. So you're just demonstrating that technique, I'm sure. Yep, that's right. That's right. So I don't normally paint eyes. I think I said that last week, no. Some people paint eyes in with cocktail sticks and pins and stuff, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't try it like do it as a pin prick rather than a a, a paint. There we go. Get his nose back. Oh, I've got my old nose. What film's that from? I don't know. Spaceballs, where the bad guys give the princess back her old nose. Yes, yes, yes. Might have to find that now and watch it. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what made me think about it. That film's absolutely genius. I love it. All right, let's have another go at getting his eye nice and white. There we go. All right. Yep, there we are. And then this one at this side. Right then. So I need a yellow, please, Mr. MLG. Oh, yeah. I need a nice, a nice, bright, vivid yellow. Oh, my favorite yellow. Uh, yeah, let's go for your favorite yellow. <laughs> yeah, I think. I gave you it back. Honest governor. <laughs> there it is. My favourite. There we go. So Mrs MLG's favourite. So this is another one of those uh, HD paints that's been rebranded into the Bones range. This is Pale Saffron. <laughs> so we're going to uh, just get a little bit of this. I think, my, uh, I think it's so warm in here that my wet palette is drying out. That's not wet anymore, that's dry mm. palette. Yeah, my dry palette is dry. There you go. Right then. So let's yeah. let's see if we can give him some nice bright yellow eyeballs just before we finish uh -huh. for the evening. And then, uh, and then we might get a pin out to paint his uh, paint his pupils in, because I can never do that. Or do we just leave him with nice glowing red, yellow even glowing? <laughs> I don't even know what colour I'm using. Nice glowing yellow eyes. I don't know. Do you want to put a black dot? In? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I dare. Oh, I quite like that. Can you, so, did anybody give a suggestion? Oh, Mr. Perks said green on the uh, on the staff, didn't he? Yeah. Right then. So, can you all can you all see him? And uh, so, this is where we're going to leave him for now, and then we'll come back and we'll finish some bits off next week. I think. So here we are. Let's just have a quick rundown. So we've gone uh, twilight purple for the cloak. So that's still awaiting a highlight. Indigo black or black indigo even for these trousers. We're going to highlight those up ever slightly. We've still got to paint this staff. We've got to do uh, any kind of painting whatsoever on this fur here. We've got to sort his hair out. We've got to paint his a bit more detail onto his belt and do his necklace. So, I, oh, and, and finish his shoes and the base. I reckon we can get that cracked off in an hour next week. I hope so. Can't we? Yeah. And then, uh, and then we'll pick another mini for the week after. So, oh, and his, yeah, his staff, obviously. So, what do you think of our progress so far? I'm, I'm quite pleased with it, if I'm honest. I think it looks quite cool. So, uh, yeah, I think he's pretty good. We'll, we'll see how that shading's coming around the areas on the back of the cloak. I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to leave him there for now. Thanks everybody for tuning in.
Yeah. He's so buff. You're right, he is. He's, yeah, he's ripped, isn't he? Absolutely, Mr. Perks is uh, shredded. He's obviously been doing his sit-ups. So, uh, best, best sit back, sir. <laughs> I can uh, I can relax. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna build some skeletons. I'm gonna force myself not to touch this guy, apart from just to move him around the room, obviously. Uh, in between now and next Monday, and then we'll get a bit more paint on him next Monday, and hopefully get him finished off. But uh, thanks everyone for watching, and hopefully you'll join us on Wednesday, where we'll be probably painting some skeletons, or maybe even a bit of Maldrakar, depending on what we uh, might roll the dice for it. Eh? Thanks very much. Take it easy and uh, we'll see you Wednesday hopefully. Bye now.